1919, Adolf Hitler, a former amateur artist and army veteran, joined the German Workers' Party, which later became known as the Nazis. This decision had a significant impact on not only Germany but the entire world. The Nazis committed many atrocities when they were in power, which are often discussed in World War II history lessons. But how did a democratic country like Germany fall under the control of a dictator? It all started with Germany's defeat in World War I. German leaders were forced to sign the Treaty of Versailles, which required Germany to reduce its military, surrender territory, and pay large amounts of money in reparations. This weakened Germany's already unstable economy. Many Germans felt humiliated and betrayed by their leaders and feared that their country would remain poor and decline. In this bitter atmosphere, Hitler gained popularity. He was a talented public speaker who tapped into people's disillusionment with a series of speeches advocating for a stronger, unified Germany. He blamed the Jews for Germany's post-war problems. Hitler and his followers tried to overthrow the government in 1923, but the attempt failed. Hitler was imprisoned for treason for nine months, but the publicity from the failed coup made him more popular than ever. Then, in 1929, the Great Depression struck, destroying the German economy and leaving millions unemployed. Hitler saw this chaos as an opportunity to take power. He criticized the government and promised to restore Germany to greatness. Many Germans, who had been suffering for a long time, believed they had found their savior. In the 1932 German elections, the Nazis won a majority of seats in parliament. Hitler ran for president but lost. However, his popularity led President Paul von Hindenburg to appoint him chancellor, the head of the German government. As chancellor, Hitler quickly tightened his control over all aspects of German life. He tripled the size of the military, violating the Treaty of Versailles. He banned rival parties and used paramilitary groups to suppress protests and execute political opponents. Anti-Semitic laws prevented Jews from working, voting, and occupying public spaces. A propaganda department produced art, films, and books that praised Hitler and promoted his vision of a better Germany. After President von Hindenburg died in 1934, Hitler declared himself Führer, an absolute dictator. With Germany under his total control, Hitler shifted his focus to global domination, setting the stage for World War II. There is not enough evidence to confirm that Hitler died in a bunker on April 30, 1945. Some speculate that Hitler might have escaped from Berlin and entered Argentina, but it's unclear who could have helped hide him. We need to investigate this further.